Hey everybody, this is Mike, uh, Mike Mav on most of the sim racing forums, and I wanted to give you an update. It's been quite a while since I've done a YouTube video, and this is the similar mock-up that I showed before of triple screen using three projectors, 3D capable. It's a little bit further along than it was in the past. Uh, I have a 80-20 aluminum rig that's holding the screens up on the sides right now. There's the left screen center screen, my seat, my steering wheel, and the right screen end of it is over there. They're pretty well aligned right now, though it is still a mock-up. I want to run a couple of laps here. This is um, Project Cars, the um, beta, or I guess it's not even a beta yet. And I'm a tester for that, and I just wanted to show you guys a couple of laps, how everything's working. Again, still kind of jury-rigged, but I'm making progress. We're using three, I'm using three Optima projectors, they're the GT720 model. The center one's rear projected on an acrylic screen that's made for rear projection and the two side screens now are not the temp mock-up they were before. They're not permanently mounted but they are the screens I hope to use. They're actually a laminate material, countertop laminate, that's laminated to a quarter inch MDF board. I'm gonna uh, attach it to a thicker board because it's actually warping um, on the quarter inch and this was a gray laminate from a family that's recommended by the AV Science Forum where I've been a long time member as being very even as far as colors and I'm not sure how this is all coming across on the camera but there's really very little of no color difference between the three screens and they're not even perfected yet the way they're set up so anyway here's a short video I'll do a run of this and then maybe I'll try to do something in 3D as well Forgive the driving, I don't know this car at all, I just picked it because I wanted to have a car that was not an open wheeler for a change. So I have no idea where my braking points are or anything, but I just wanted to give this a little try out here real quick. As far as part Project Cars goes, I think the graphics even for an early release like this are incredible. The lighting effects especially, I don't know if they'll come across in this track or this car, but a couple of the other ones really blow me away as far as the shadow and the light. I don't know how that's coming across on the video I'm shooting, but really well done. Force feedback's not quite there yet. Uh, it needs, oh I didn't know the chicane was on this track, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it definitely needs work as far as the force feedback goes, but I can tell you this, the CSR Elite Wheel from Fnatic that I'm using now is Definitely got a lot more feel to it than the older Fnatic wheel I was using, which was also excellent. I had a G25 before then, but anyway, I always forget how sharp that turn is. Here's a quick example of what the triple screen desktop looks like. And I'm just going to run R Factor 2 beta for a second. I've got this set at 2D right now. I'll switch it over to 3D as well and see if the effect can come through similar to how I did the past video where I would put the lens of the 3D glasses right in front of the camera lens. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but go ahead and try it. R-Factor 2 doesn't look graphically, in my opinion, much better than R-Factor 1, although this treatment of Monaco is really beautiful, but the feel, especially through the Elite Wheel, is just wonderful. Some of the mods better than others. I'm not going to say it's perfect by any stretch. But I think that it really has a nice potential to have really good force feedback. And I hope they get the graphics stepped up. But I know it's, you know, that's not their primary focus. I'm really excited about the project that the guys that built Netcar Pro have coming out later this year or next year, which is going to hopefully combine... Project Cars type DX11 graphics, HDR, all those kinds of things, although this actually has HDR as well, with the handling of Netcar Pro, which should just be astounding. So I can't wait for that. Right now, I think Project Cars looks amazing. The feel changes a lot. They come out with builds almost every week, and some weeks it'll have really good, or I'll say decent force feedback. Right now, it seems like there's a very big spring effect where the wheel will actually resist really hard and it feels like there's almost no power steering. So I don't know if that's an adjustment I'm going to need to make in the settings or what, but that's Project Cars. This feels much more natural right off the bat. So anyway, let's just give you an idea here. Now this one works with Track IR as well, so I'm going to go ahead and put my headphones on. They have a little clip on top that has three sensors on it so that the camera can pick up my head position. 
have a button on the wheel to center that. And that way when I look around, it tracks where I'm looking, even moving forward. So if I want to focus in on that part of the cockpit, I can do like that, which is really nice. the curb. These cars are a beast to handle. As you can see, I'm not doing a very good job of it yet. Here's the 3D view without the glasses, triple screen, right screen, center screen, left screen. I know that looks washed out compared to the others, but when you're actually sitting there in the seat, it's really remarkably similar. Here's with the glasses. Let's see if that eliminates the blur. Back to 2D now, and one of the things that's hard to capture, I don't really quite have the right camera angle here, I showed this more in my last series of videos last year, but if you're looking right through the steering wheel from the driver's head perspective, where I'm sitting over here, you're looking right through at a one-to-one -one representation of the actual size of the steering wheel, ideally, um, and by messing with the degrees of uh, view and the uh, seat position settings, I can get it just like I like it, and I'm actually seeing the gauges uh, virtual gauges right there through the gap in the top of the steering wheel. So, and here's just another view of the blending of the three screens together. It really is almost completely seamless. Can't really see on that side because of the chair. Let's move this up. If there's any color imbalances that you can see between the three, very, very tough to notice in person the camera may be even more perceptive than the eye is on that. Here's an example with the lights on where you can sort of see that view. It looks a little bit, it's more one-to-one -one relationship when you're actually sitting here. Um, and if I just look over you see there's one of the seams here going over that way and there's the other where the front projection screens join the rear. I know that looks washed out now, that's just because I turned all the lights on so you'd have a better view of the Fanatic wheel. Here's the uh, Club Sport pedals and here's some of the 8020 aluminum rigging. Forgive the cable mess, like I said this is a mock-up, but there's the stand I built for it to hold the side screens. Going to replace those with some wall mounts that are articulating and uh, this is all already framed in. This is, I put it back in 2D mode, but I just want to give you an idea of this is about where my head is when you race. And you can see you can see the gauges on the car right through the gap in the top of the steering wheel like I was talking about. And then I know on camera the side screens look a little bit more washed out compared to the center screen, but a lot of it's about angles where you're sitting and also the way the light is in here right now. So I can assure you they're pretty evenly matched between the three and you can see there's almost no gap in between them as well because I have them butted up together like this. Hey guys, just wanted to thank you for watching, give you kind of a wider angle view here. I know there's some shadows, got the lights on in certain areas of the basement and not in others. But anyway, thank you for watching and stay tuned for my video review of the Fanatic CSR Elite wheel coming up soon. Thanks.